We are exactly four days away from potentially one of the biggest moments in all of cryptocurrency. That's the SEC's deadline to approve this Bitcoin ETF. And there's only three ways that it's going down. They're going to say yes, they're going to say no, or they're going to call a timeout and ask for 30 more days to mull over their decision. We can already start to look for clues into the fact that they are, in fact, going to say yes. This time, we're combing through the top Bitcoin wallets. Now, we've already done a comb through all of the entire Casper wallets. We did this in September, which is when we noticed that all these Casper whales, like everybody holding 10 million plus Casper, they all started buying right between three and five cents, which is showing you guys on the sidelines or who have extra cash to deploy, how early we still are in Casper. We also discovered all of these Binance listing rumor news wallets with the over 8,000 transactions. And when we ran that information into our artificial intelligence, it actually gave us an entirely new readout. This wasn't for the Binance listing. It was in fact part of an MEV bot. An MEV bot makes profit off of arbitrage. Someone's selling Caspa for a dollar and a penny. Someone's buying it for a dollar and two pennies. The MEV bot picks up in the middle and makes profit like that. And of course, Yonatan, the founder of Caspa, has been working in Harvard on very special MEV bots. We are all wondering how Caspa got their initial funding. It's not like they went to the Salvation Army to start a cryptocurrency and picked up an extra $10 million. And it appears like their seed funders may be looking to profit from MEV bots down the road, especially once we get these tier one listings, which will particularly be happening after testnet 11 goes down caspo recently broke the world record when they did the trial run of t of testnet 11 bringing it up to 10 blocks per second once that actually becomes an everyday reality for caspa then we should start to see the possibility of your coinbase and binance listings getting back on track to our bitcoin wallet we can see the number three biggest Bitcoin wallet in the world has been periodically scooping up Bitcoin. And as soon as that flash crash happened, that's when they started loading the bag with even more. This is extremely suspect, as well as the entire flash crash in general. You guys remember how we did the God candle trade on Caspa on November 3rd. We gave everyone a 48 hour call out to do 10 X leverage on Caspa. So our bus point started at 4.5 cents. But as the time rolls on, your interest keeps collecting. As of right now, it's at 6.2 cents bust. And we can see even on the MEXC Caspa perpetual listing, these massive ripping candles, which definitely scared the beeswax out of us as we were just a cent away from losing that entire trade. Point being, right before a massive move to the upside, of course, they want to shake out all of the long future positions. Can we just imagine for a moment how big that gamma squeeze would be? To give you an idea and perspective, the most recent gamma squeeze that just happened was on November 1st, Coinbase started listing futures for Bitcoin. When they did this, along with the momentum of the ETF rumors, every 24 hours, the market maker has to resettle that position. So let's say you do a 10x Bitcoin leverage trade on Coinbase. As you're owed more and more, every 24 hours, they have to buy more Bitcoin for you. So it's almost like the reverse of a short squeeze. It's called a gamma squeeze. So in the scenario where this giant wicking didn't go down, exploding tons of leverage positions, the gamma squeeze would have been so astronomical, it would have like destroyed the entire financial world. It's almost like they had to do that giant dip down before they allow the SEC to even possibly say yes, because the potential upside and then gamma squeeze following it would be too immense. Best way to play this looking forward without actually gambling on what we think 
the SEC is going to say. Well, first of all, you can start off by setting crypto alarms. They have apps that you can download that will literally call your cell phone as soon as the price of any crypto fluctuates past any point or moves any percentage wise that you want. So once the ruling goes down, the markets will move enough to ring your phone, wake you up in the middle of the night where you can then have money ready to go and start entering into possible leverage trades and or buying more Caspa cold as well. Jumping into the Caspa chart, interestingly enough, it's been well over 30 days since we posted our first video with this golden X on the chart. We set this up using our X access Fibonacci pitch technique. For any of you newer viewers out there, I'll give you the 10 second rundown. Cryptocurrencies, unlike stock, have repeating trend lines, and you can space these out directly with a Fibonacci pitch. And there's tons of videos going over how we set these up for Caspa, Solana, Bitcoin. You can check our previous back history. We were able to pinpoint this would be the exact buy point and potential pivot point when Caspa took out exactly at 10.4 cents. Using this technique to cross reference your X access Fibonacci pitch with a date on the chart to get a fair buying price. This is where we've been picking up some extra cash but gold right at 10.4 cents. We've used this historically in the past as we found out on May 11th, the government was going to cut off all of their COVID spending. And we noticed a massive descending trend line across all the charts, specifically on AVAX, that we could estimate the candle was going to run into exactly on that day. And we entered into a massive short position, which we continued to stack into as it fell changing our initial $12,500. Once we cashed out, we had just under 40K, which we soon rolled into Caspa cold right around two cents. That's how we changed $10,500 into just under a quarter million, there's absolutely no luck to it. But there's so much more, including our 24-point checklist that we used to vet Caspa. This week's hottest runner, Tia Celestia. You guys might have seen it on some of the charts. We called that out 40 days ago. It's right on the thumbnail and always has been. New 100x crypto, Tia. GameFi right now, both Miria, which is our personal favorite gaming token, and GFAL, which is another very popular one, both seem to be forming a possible head and shoulders. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Your friends and family might have approached you asking about cold storage using the Tangium wallet. Anyone, even with very little technological experience, can understand this. It's just like a debit card. When you use the discount code Jesse AI, you automatically become an affiliate marketer. So you get the kickbacks off your friends and family. You can store your Caspa on there, your Miria, your GFAL, etc. We'll catch you.